Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you want to send large photos and videos from your iPhone in original quality without being scaled down by WhatsApp for example? In this video, I'll show you how this works. Let's go. If you have activated iCloud Photos on iOS 12 and higher, you can select any number of photos and videos and generate a link that you can send to other people. They can then download the photos and videos directly from the cloud in their original quality. To make sure you have activated iCloud Photos and you can use the function, go to Settings. Click on your name, then on iCloud, and then on Photos. Make sure that the iCloud Photos option is activated. In order to generate a link, open the Photos app on your iPhone and select the photos and videos that you want to send. Then click on the share symbol at the bottom left and if you scroll completely down here, you will find the option copy iCloud link. After the link has been created, it is saved in your clipboard. Then go to a WhatsApp chat for example and paste the link. The big advantage of this is that the other person can now download the photos in their original quality, unlike if you just sent them via WhatsApp. The advantage of emails is that you can send several gigabytes with just one email without any problems. The recipient can use the link to download the data for 30 days. Afterwards, the link becomes invalid and you have to create a new one. Also note that if you have just activated the iCloud Photos option, the recipient may not be able to access the data immediately. This is because your iPhone first has to upload the data to the cloud before the recipient can download it. This takes a while. The good thing however is that the iPhone does this all by itself in the background while it is being charged. So if you want it to be fast, it's best to charge your device. The person who received the link simply has to click on it and then has the option to decide whether he wants to download individual photos only or all files at once. If you download the photos with an Apple device, you can also log in and import the files directly into your Photos app. Otherwise, just download the files as a zip file. That works great too. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.